Hi friends, it's Diana here today and today I am here to finish up my holiday dress hack that I started a couple of days ago. So I'm going to show you. Um, I made this embroider top for my dress. I did this all on my sewing machine and if you have not checked the tutorial, make sure you go ahead and check that tutorial out. And now that I have my front finished, we're going to go ahead and make the dress. I'm going to show you again a picture of um, my inspiration and then we're going to go ahead and cut it out. I'm going to be using the going home raglan for the top and the stication dress bottom. Uh, this, the really cool thing is that the stication dress bottom needs no alterations. So I'm just cutting that straight forward and then the, um, um, going home raglan, there's just a couple of things I'm going to twitch, like I'm cutting the top a little bit shorter and I'm color blocking the sleeves. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I'm super excited about it. I think it's going to be adorable. So let's get to it. By the way, in case you were wondering, I'm lounging in an oversized tee in waffle for, uh, waffle fabric from Olga's Closet with the holiday touch with little Christmas trees. I love it. And some notes of basic pants um, also with the same fabric. So cozy. All right, so I've got all my pattern pieces here and we're going to start with our bodice back and front. Um, if you can see here, um, this is my back and See how the back kind of starts slimming in here at the waist? It comes in here at the waist a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it basically right at that waist seam where it comes in right here. Um, I want it to be like right below bust, so like right at my, at my waist. So that's where I'm going to cut off right here. And on the front, it does the same thing. Let me show you. Here's my front. Um, I want to pair it at the shoulder, I mean not the shoulder, the armpit area here, both the front and the back, so that my side is going to be exactly the same on both the front and the back. And I'm going to cut right where it starts to kind of taper in at the waist. I'll cut right there. And then um, if I need to make it shorter or whatever, then I can take it up a little bit, but I don't want it to, I don't want to cut it too short. Better to cut it a little bit longer. So I'm going to cut right here um, on my pattern. So for my sleeve, I've got, here's my whole sleeve. Now I want it to be three quarter sleeve. So I'm going to fold it right at the three quarter sleeve. Now I want the bottom to be red. And then I want a middle piece to be um, the leopard. And then the top is going to be the stripe. So I've got stripey for the top, uh, leopard for the middle, and then red for the bottom. So this bottom part, I will be cutting out of the red, the same red that I'll be cutting also the neckband out of and the bottom of the skirt. And I already cut my, my bodice. Then here, I'm gonna go right here, kind of probably about an inch down from the armpit area. I'm gonna go about an inch down from the armpit area mm -hmm, and cut that as my top. So let me fold that down. That will be my top of my sleeve. And I'll cut that in the stripey fabric. An inch, I need to give it a little bit more here. Okay, and then this middle piece here will be my, uh, leopard fabric. So then I'll just like fold it and cut just that little piece as leopard. Now, because I'm color blocking, here's the tricky part. I have to add seam allowance. So when I go to cut this off, I'm going to cut it at that line I just folded plus a quarter inch seam allowance. Then when I go to cut the middle piece, I'm going to add a quarter inch seam allowance at the top and a quarter inch seam allowance at the bottom. When I cut the bottom piece, I just add a quarter inch seam allowance at the top, not at the bottom because the bottom was already cut. It's already, I already have the line for the three quarter inch, so I don't need to add uh, a seam allowance there. So I need to add seam allowance at the top, at both the middle pieces, top and bottom, and the top piece at the bottom. So let me go ahead and cut that, adding that seam allowance, and then we'll piece it together. And I'm gonna cut the bottom of the skirt um, I'm using the stication skirt and I'm just cutting it just like it calls for, just like the stication skirt calls for. I'm not doing anything different to it. So this is the only thing I'm cutting a little bit different. And the bodice.
All right, now time to start sewing and we're gonna piece together our sleeves first and then we'll go ahead and sew it together. It's gonna be super quick and super cute. So I've got my sleeve pieces here and I kind of, for color blocking, I like to place things like a puzzle so I know exactly how they're going to go. It makes things a lot easier because see, that does not make sense. It's too small, that would not go there. So I know I'm holding it upside down or uh, just backwards or something. So there it is. So now that I got my sleeve kind of looking like it's supposed to be, then I can go ahead and grab it and tilt my sleeve so I can put this right on top or of each other and we're gonna sew it together. That is the reason why you left a seam allowance here at the bottom. <sighs> One of the reasons why I love, I love doing these um, hack videos is to show you all the possibilities of the things that you can do um, with a pattern. Um, you don't have to stick to exactly what the pattern looks like. If you like the shape of the pattern and you're like, you know what, I love that, but I would like it to be color blocked, you can definitely do this. So that's why I like showing you this. Anyway, so that's why we left that seam allowance there. So we can go ahead and go sew that up. Then we're gonna grab the bottom. Since I'm using clips, it makes things a lot easier because it doesn't really come off real easily because then now I can go ahead and do the same for the bottom, right sides together, and we're just piecing this pattern back together to create the color blocking. So once it's all sewn together, this is what my sleeve will look like. That's gonna be super adorable. I'm gonna do the same for the other sleeve and go sew them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, for my skirt, I'm gonna go ahead and prep it and I'm gonna grab my front middle, uh, uh, top pieces and my front middle pieces, my skirt, I'm sorry, not front, skirt, middle piece and my skirt bottom piece and I'm gonna open them up and sew them at the sides. I am not adding pockets to this, so I'm just going really straightforward with the skirt. I'm gonna sew the sides, right sides together. Like I said, there's no change on the skirt at all because this is a gathered skirt. It fits really good at different waistlines and that's all I'm doing. Now for me, I like it to be a little bit oversized at the waistline, my, my top. So I am not taking the sides in at all. But if you feel that your waist would be too loose and you wanna bring it in a little bit, then when you sew your top, I'll show you when we sew the sides of our top, you can actually come in a little bit at the waist to bring that, those, that top in. I like it to be more oversized look at the waistline, so that's why I'm not bringing it in at all. So I'm gonna sew those two sides, right sides together of my middle tier, and I mean the top tier, and then I'm gonna do the same for the middle tier. I'm also going to go ahead and prep my neckband by sewing it right sides together at that short raw edge. Now, one easy thing that makes a huge difference in color blocking is steaming. You want to steam those seams so that they're nice and even and they look really good um, on. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. I steamed that one. I did not steam this one. You see how it's got that wobbly because the fabric can stretch. So steaming it brings it all in. It makes it look so much better. Um, and if you want to top stitch, you can also do that. I am choosing not to top stitch on this project. Next, I'm gonna grab my bodice. Here's my front. I'm gonna place it face up and I'm gonna grab my sleeves and start piecing them together. You're gonna find that one side is longer than the other on these raglan style sleeves. So the shorter one goes on the front. I'm gonna place it right sides together here at the shoulder. Well, the arms, uh, the arm side. Now you can go sew that first, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the other side as well the back. So I'm going to place the back face up on my mat and I'm going to flip my bodice front face down right on top of it and match the other side of the sleeve. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now that our sleeves are sewn, we can go ahead and sew our bodices right sides together on the outer edge, matching that armpit seam and those seams of the, of the sleeves. This is where if you feel like you want the top to be a little bit more fitted, here at the side you can go in, start going in, go down a little bit and then start going in a little bit at the waist, however much you want to go in. Sometimes I'll sew the sides first and then I put it on backwards and I pin how tight I want it to go in and then I will go back and sew along that line how much I want to go into the waist because this top is just a straight fit, like it's a little bit curvy but it's not really tight at the waist so if you want that it's tighter style you will go in a little bit I want it to be a little bit looser at the waist so that's why I'm just doing the straight here now I can go ahead and also prep my neckband by grabbing my shoulder seams and going to the front and marking that in the front and again grabbing the shoulder seams and marking the back And then marking, touch, grabbing the front and the back and going to the sides. And then on my neckband, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it wrong sides together. I'm going to go to the front and then mark those two sides. And sometimes, actually every time, steaming it, it helps you to keep it even. But as you can see, I did not steam this one. Hopefully I won't regret it. This fabric is not too stubborn, so that's why I didn't steam it. But if you have fabric that keeps unfolding on you, then steaming it is really your best friend. And now I'm going to match all those quarter points that I created here on the neckband to the neck area. And sew that on. All right, friends, my bodice is basically done. All I need to do is hem my sleeve and I'm gonna attach my skirt to my bodice. So I'm gonna work on my skirts and I've got my top tier and I've got my bottom tier. So there's my top tier, here's my bottom tier. And what I wanna do is I'm going to gather All right, so now that I am done sewing my bodice, it's all completed, I wanna go ahead and grab my middle tier and my bottom tier, and I'm going to gather my middle tier to fit my bodice and my bottom tier to fit this middle tier. And then I'm gonna sew it on. So I'm gonna put in a gathering stitch here at the top, and you can do any kind of gathering method you'd like to do. I'm just doing a simple gather, um basting stitch, a long straight stitch on my sewing machine, and I'm gonna do it for both tops, and then uh, I'm gonna attach them. Um, you can do clear elastic if you want to give it a little bit of more support, and we do have a video here on our channel how and how to do, showing how to do that. And what I like to do before I even gather is to cut, fold it in half, and find my half, my back and my front, so that way I can, um, it's easier when I go to attach it to my bodice, I already have my marks of where my halves are supposed to match up. So I'm gonna do that for the bottom tier as well. And then I'll do that for my bodice as well. So let's do that and then and gather and then we'll put it together and we'll be done. Make sure you leave a long tail when you first start to do your gathering stitch to pull it together when you're done. All right, so here is my tier. This is my first tier, my top tier, and I'm gonna grab the bobbin thread and I'm gonna gather. I like to grab from those two marks I made and go sideways so that way I know how much I need to gather. Once I've gathered enough, then I can just even those gathers out. Once I've gathered the right amount and then they're even, I'm going to do just a little tie. I like to tie here a knot at the waist so that way I know uh, they won't come, the gathers won't come apart. Then I'm going to match them right sides together with the bodice and sew them. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom, the next tier. Now you could go sew that at first and then come back and do the bottom, but 
um, since I'm using clips and they stay pretty sturdy, I'm just gonna move on to the bottom part. Last of all, we hem our sleeves and the bottom of our dress and we'll be done. Alrighty friends, we are finished with this hack and I love how it turned out. It was exactly what I was picturing. Um, I love it. This will be what I'll be wearing in a couple of days. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I really hope that what you take out of this tutorial is to know that you can grab the patterns, mix and match them match them, mix them, match them, and create your own beautiful creations, whatever it is that you want to create, you can do it. Um, please, if you have not checked out the video tutorial where I show how to did this writing on just my sewing machine, make sure you check that out. And go ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't so you never miss out on any of our tutorials. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and happy holidays. See you all next time. Bye!